So, um, today's Monday, so I would think at some point last week, um, so I have, I have with, with what I've come to call the fists of the eternal Ramadan, and there's like a daily, you could say a ritual or like habit or whatever thing that I do. And it's these different fist styles that I've come up with in the last year of living outside minus when I'm hanging out with people and end up just crashing there and stuff. And there's been times that I've like stayed with people for like a month or um, in one case and then like on and off for like three months with one family that I became close to and then we kind of distanced and they came back together in their daughter dying. And that's why I wear this wristband thing. Um, is anyway, but so there's a daily thing that I do, and with these different fist styles created over this last year or whatnot, um, like there's this whole I mean, it's not like a huge ritual or huge thing, but like it's a daily thing. And then sometimes I end up practicing, like, my fist styles during that. And there's a time last week that I noticed that, like, it's like I didn't really have energy. Um, like, there's energy, like, Storm Fist last year. Like, that was the energy behind one time that I was, uh, that I was, like, speaking in tongues in, like, this African church. That was the energy behind that. And I don't know necessarily if I would, if I'll be able to do, like, there's just, there's, when you go through, like, hardships or there's, I guess, hardships, hardships, experiences, there can just be a lot of fuel. And from being outside in storms, there's, like, there was, there is some power there. And, like, so some of these fist styles can have, like, a lot of energy. But, like, with this daily ritual thing, like, you know, that's a time that I will, I potentially end up practicing some of these styles or doing some kind of, like, exercising or self-exploration or something, like bodily self-exploration and stuff. But there's a time last week where, like, I didn't really have energy, and that was, like, that's, no. Like, there's supposed to be energy behind the summer, all of these moon fists I end up having trouble with, because that's ba based on excitement. That's the emotion behind that one. And I more so connect with, like, sad or negative emotions, you could say. But, like, it could have been because of something else, like, maybe... I didn't eat much that day or I didn't have water or maybe I was just didn't sleep well. But like that made me realize that like when you do too much, like when you work on something too much, you can end up losing like that kind of fresh energy. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, and so that was, no, <laughs> that's not a thing that should be happening. But like, that can happen with different things. Like in playing, in playing with the Fargo invaders and like trying to, and different people teaching me different stuff. There was a point where I learned that maybe I've been learning all along because there will be times that people say that I'm growing and stuff, but it, it did come to a point where it's like there's just too many things that I've learned, like different, because different people, I almost want to say more so early on, but there's just different people trying to teach you stuff, and you can kind of like drown in that in a sense and so with the fist of the eternal ramadan 
with the Fargo Invaders, with... It doesn't really happen with freestyling, like, because I, I keep doing... Like, I freestyle all the... Like, I haven't had it happen with freestyling, per se, but... Um, at, least not, at least I don't think so, or not that I notice. But um, it's important to, like, let that fresh creative energy or whatever not die. And that can happen. You could have a love for basketball or a love for piano or a love for whatever. And if you, there's a certain fresh, especially if it's something that you like spiritually or naturally or whatever connect to, there might be just kind of this like talent or energy that you automatically have with it or flow or flow that you have with it. And if you aren't careful with how much you keep like forcing stuff with it, you can end up taking away from it or losing something. So that's kind of like with when I had drumsticks years ago too. Like instead of like just naturally exploring stuff as it came, like I started being like, oh, I should be learning. Like I've had them for whatever amount of time or I don't know, maybe is what I thought, but like I should be learning. And then it's like I lost something. 